walking through the airport to our next connecting flight. We are in North Carolina right now and we're going to Daytona Beach. I'm currently in the middle of the airport walking around. No idea where I'm going, never been to this airport, so that's fun. The rest of the guys should be coming soon. Dude, this airport is literally massive. All right, while well, I'm walking on, this, walking on this thing, you know, that makes you go like a thousand miles an hour. These things are always usually really, really fun. So we're going from here, CLT, North Carolina airport, whatever, something, international airport. And then we're going to uh, DAB, which is Daytona Beach, which is where we're going to be doing lots of filming. Then we're headed over to PBI, West Palm at some point. So whew, we got a, we got a trip ahead of us. Bring it. Daytona Beach. Oh, There's Steven and them over there, but this is exciting stuff. I'm excited. This, this, I don't know why I keep saying that, but this trip is going to be a lot of fun. Be lots of behind the stuff scenes that we're doing, and uh, hopefully I'll try my best to capture it. I've only had my phone. I haven't really had time to look into a vlog camera, and I can't bring my big giant Canon with me because it's a little too much. So, yeah, we'll figure that out. Love you guys. The vlog's not over, by the way. I'm just... We're here at my room and I'm about to show you a tour. It is actually unreal how big this place is. Let's show you. Here we go. Open it. Now, the first thing we're gonna do is actually go this way. Over here, we literally have a bedroom. This is a whole other bedroom. I believe that's a full or a queen. That's the first thing in this, in this hotel room. That's the first thing. I don't even know if this is a hotel room. This is someone's house. I don't even think I'm supposed to be here. A private elevator. I don't think I'm gonna use it, but it's there. This is a half bathroom. Uh, that is insane, just so you know, in a hotel room to have now one, two, three, there's three bathrooms in here. Full kitchen, okay? Usually you get half a kitchen. Full kitchen, and I believe this is a full pantry. No, washer and dryer. Stupid. Then we have this, big living room. And obviously, <laughs> six person dining table. Giant living room with a balcony, overlooking the golf course, which I'll show you. Then we come into my master here. Big old king bed with its own balcony. The golf course right there with the beautiful ocean. And then obviously one of the best parts, the bath. Big old tub, take some nice hot baths, shower, private bath. Absolutely unreal, there's me. Stupid. How we doing? You can see I'm filming with my phone because I haven't gotten a vlog camera yet. But this is absolutely insane how big this place is. And I had no idea that I was getting a place this big. I truly thought, I'm gonna have to go and shut all these lights off. Great. I truly thought that it was just gonna be something kind of small, like, you know, a typical hotel room, it's small, maybe a nice balcony with an ocean view on the golf course. But I have a whole house, like a whole, like I'm pretty sure this is a timeshare for somebody. I don't even know, but this is phenomenal. Lots of great content coming from this kind of place. We're doing some great Bible studies in the morning with uh, with a beautiful backdrop back there. We love you guys, we thank you again. It's because you guys are watching the videos, you guys are loving, you're supporting. Um, I think some of the other guys are gonna be vlogging too, so go check out everybody else's channel. Everybody's vlogging and you're gonna get to know some of their personal lives a little bit better, hopefully. I've been wanting to pick up the vlog camera for a while but trying to figure out where it's gonna go and how to do it and that kind of stuff. So yeah, hopefully you guys are enjoying. I love you. Gonna show you lots of cool stuff from the golf course as well as kind of showing you some of the resort stuff as well. But again, glory to God, glory to God. It is him, it is through him that we can do all things and that all things are possible. Nothing is impossible with him. And he's blessed me with this freaking beautiful room for some reason. Dude, if someone comes through that door and I'm not supposed to be here, this is gonna be, this is gonna suck. I'm gonna be completely honest. Oh, let's go eat. Let's go find out other cool things about the resort. There's the first course right there. Beautiful wings. These things look phenomenal. All right, well, what's going on? Today's day one at Hammock Beach, and I'm just gonna kind of take you through and show you what I do on Google Weeks. Get some behind the scenes stuff. It'll be great. Um, it'll be great. So, hopefully you guys are looking forward to it. I'm really excited. There's an absolutely beautiful view outside right now. That is kind of what we get to look at. I don't think I've ever played this course. Actually, I know I haven't. No, I haven't been to this resort either. And this place is huge. There's like three different towers. Let's start it off. Step one, right? That's what I did right in the morning. Start off with a beautiful prayer. Now we're gonna jump into this, uh, into, into some Bible study real quick. And then we go to breakfast. All right, well, that is gonna wrap up Bible study. I encourage you guys, if you don't know how to get into Bible study and you don't know quite what to do, you're kind of overwhelmed by just getting a Bible and just starting to open it up and read it. I would recommend something like this something that I'm starting, it's 52 weeks. Obviously says 52 weeks for men, you can do 52 weeks for women, you can do something specifically catered to you. It takes me through this little journey on week three right now. As you're reading, it gives you some passages in the word and it gives you stories and then it'll talk about the stories and then it'll have you write down some certain things about what you're reading, which I think is the best way to learn something. It helps stick in your head a little bit easier. It helps you remember what you're learning and it also helps you like truly engage in what you're doing too. I think that's really important. So yeah, now we're on to breakfast. Look at the view one more time, look at that. 
Wow. Well, we're downstairs now. We got a little bit of a breakfast situation going on. There's a small little cafe down here that's really, really nice. It's really close to our place. So I'm having breakfast with, there he is. There's Brad. Look at him coming, man. He's a crazy man. I got a muffin and we got coffee. And it's going to be an exciting day. Dude, look at this thing. That's a, so hungry. wow, that's a crazy looking guy. Americano, who gets that? Americans, that's who. That's a fair point. I got like an actual, you know, coffee, like a latte with a bunch of crap in it that makes it seem like, you know what I'm saying? And this guy got an Americano. That's the difference right there, ladies and gentlemen, between hairline and no hair. Okay. Oh, no hairline and no hairline. There we go, all right. Oh, I had to do it. I had to do it. Are you kidding me? <coughs> that was a cool pro shop. Obviously you can see it. Ooh, it says soak me in water. Hold up. Okay, hold on a second. Wait a minute. It says soak me in water and I'll keep you cool for hours. So I'm definitely gonna try that. You're supposed to soak this hat in water and it's supposed to help cool you down and stuff. So I'm definitely excited about that. But also no reason to really talk about the fact that I look like somebody from Hogwarts Legacy right now with this hat on, but look at this dude. Oh, great. Look at the beach. I'm excited to wear this hat literally all day. Look like a pioneer. Wow, beautiful views, man. Come on. Dude, this range is beautiful. Again, this is an absolute beautiful range. Irons feel great so far. All right, well, that's gonna wrap that up. Beautiful little range. Actually, good point, I need to get some water. Beautiful little range. You guys saw a couple of the swings. Irons feel great. The woods, you know, those could always use a little bit of work. Sure. Broken. All right, well, I don't know how I'm gonna do this now. <laughs> you guys like this hat? I'm absolutely loving this hat right now. Okay, <laughs> I checked the view, I checked the, I checked the footage just to make sure it went in. It did go in. I'm about to count how many balls it took me. So we got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. The 15th shot is when I made it, you guys. Let's go, baby. Hey, it's the small victories, right? It literally is the small victories in life. That is one of them right there. I'm not the best chipper, but I was able to pull something out of my hat, make something, hey. There's a lot in this hat too, you hear me? Pulled something out of my hat there, was able to make it. That was a lot of fun. Hopefully you guys enjoy that little segment. Let's go, baby. It's a small victories in life. Just a side note, I was just chipping to that hole back there and uh, I just uh, one hop dunked it. Glad that that didn't make the vlog, right? <laughs> this is so stupid. Look at that. When do you see that? You ready to see this turtle? Where's this turtle? Holy buckets, that thing is big. Is that a Koopa Troopa? Oh man, look at him. That man's going he's huge i kind of look the same so do you <laughs> he's calling man we got the we got the crab out on the loose we got the giraffe crab we got a little match going matches are back hey hey, hey it's only one hole but it's still a match we got colin do you want a stroke on the hole no. okay no stroke and i'm playing with luis as well Luis gets a stroke. I think they might be reachable. We're gonna have a little match. Colin does not want a stroke. We're playing a part four out here at Hammock Beach. We just got done filming some good, good stuff, so we're gonna have a little beautiful match. No strokes for Colin. Luis gets one stroke on the par fours. Let's see who comes out on top. Maybe the winner wins everything. Hey, if Colin wins, we have to start the matches back up. Come on, I've been trying to do it with this man. What did he say? God, that's not an interesting. I want to start matches back up with Colin, guys. Let me know. Those were a lot of fun. And this man also is on the come up. My name is Jeff. You just, you just made a bogey. Hey, part threes are the hardest holes in golf. Look at this place. Hammock Beach. Shout out to Hammock Beach Golf Club and Resort. Obviously, they've been setting up this whole Google week. I've just been filming again. Been vlogging on my phone because I don't have a camera. Been lessons from Brad. It's our new teacher. Good good lad. Are you coming soon? You sure can. Colin Ross with the drive. Dude, this phone is clean as a whistle. to have one drive like that today. This guy just said congratulations on your drive. Is it in the fairway? I think so. Didn't you hit it right down the middle? 
Did he hit it right down the middle? Yeah, uh, it was on the right side, yeah. The wind pushed it right side. I think you might still be in the phone. phone looking at it. Yeah, that phone looks good. I can't wait till the 15 comes out and I get it and I have a beautiful Three. You got a hybrid? I sure do. Colin, look at the clouds behind you, bro. That's clean. All right, do you kind of know where you're aiming? See a flag right up there to the left? Yeah. Oh my. Luis Enojos, baby. Hey, it might be short, but that's a great shot. Great comeback shot. Come on, baby. Five yards. I got a little Dude, hey, what's going on? Welcome back to the Matt Sharp vlogs, to the, to the Colin Ross matches. Look at this guy. It's a huge moment for Colin. He doesn't get out much. <laughs> Dude, Luis, you're like right on the green. It might be on the green, I'm not sure. I think Colin's a little long. I gotta try and put this one close. That could be all right. That could be something, Luis. Come on now. This is an incredible shot from Luis. You had what, 240 to the pin? You gotta get up over that ridge, Luis. Yeah. You got it. Sit, sit! No! All right, Luis, you're all right. You still got a stroke, remember. We hit the same exact ball, but that's pretty much touching in my book, so we're gonna have the same putt. Sounds good. Go ahead, Luis. I'll film you from over here. Go! Oh, the bump! <laughs> that would have went in. I, I, I don't even know what to say to that. I think I think that's good. Great par, great putt, great great par, par, brother. You know, haven't played a hole in about seven minutes. Oh, does he do it? Oh! You know what to say about that? You know, that's some meat. Good news is, is Luis gets to go give me a little bit of a line. Dude, Colin, I thought I made that. This is for his bogey slash par. Go. Luis, you have the line. Right in the heart. Oh. Nice, Luis. Well, I'm easy hole. Well, he made double for bogey. Actually, sorry, I don't want to. Bring that double. I want. Colin, hey, it's a match right now. <laughs> Just a punt to Ty Collin. Nice hole catch. Hey, matches are coming back with me and Collin. I promise you that right now. This gets 50,000, 10,000. 7.5 thousand. Views. <laughs> hey, come on, hey. Actually, no, seriously, this gets like 7,000 likes. 7,112 likes. Me and Colin will start the matches back up. It's a fun little vlog. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. That was a fun little hole. Brad, I'm sure made par because he's good. Great hole by Colin. Again, he doesn't play much golf. I'm trying to get him out to go to the range and start playing some more because I know he's got it in him. He's got that dog in him. We're going to be excited to make some more matches happen. Please.